A new study shows the magnitude of the mental health crisis in Colorado. The numbers come from the Colorado Health Institute. It shows more than one in four people reported poor mental health last year. News reporter Anusha Roy is live in Denver this morning. Anusha, that's not the only thing that really stood out to you in the study. Yeah, Jordan, you know what definitely stood out is what is now considered one of the newest barriers to getting care. It is as simple as just getting into an appointment. That is definitely a change, right? Because for years we've talked about the cost of care being a huge barrier. According to this survey, though, that's not always the case. It could be because of two different things. It could be expanded health coverage, but also that there are stronger laws now in Colorado regarding your mental health benefits and what insurance companies are covering. But what the survey did show is that more than half the people who said they couldn't get the care they needed, it's because they simply could not get in for an appointment. And that is where the Behavioral Health Administration says we are feeling the pains of a workforce shortage and talked about why it's taking so much time to set up more resources and programs. Behavioral health is a newer, um, is newer to healthcare, And so the medical side has really had a lot of time to build and it takes, uh, it's taken us a little while to figure out what that's going to look like for us. For those who are looking for help, there is a program called Own Path. That's a directory of behavioral health specialists that actually Coloradans helped create and gave feedback on how they wanted that set up. There's also I Matter Colorado, which offers youth six free virtual counseling sessions. Of course, there's crisis services and 988 as well that you could use right now. And coming up at 7 a.m. on KTVD and streaming on 9 News Plus, we're going to be taking a closer look at who is being disproportionately impacted and how that has changed in Colorado over the years. Reporting live in Denver, Anusha Roy, 9 News.